Hey, this is Hongshu from MotionCircles.com. In this video, I'll show you how to animate this high energy book opening animation step by step. We'll cover animation techniques like value graph, overshoot to make movement realistic and high energy. Use effects like transform, wave warp to add realism. Use curves, deep glow and masks to add shadow, color correcting and making the scene stylized. Tons of good stuff. Let's get started. first layer we have is a half circle and then we have the cover of the book on one side we have another cover of the book on the other side we have this shape that we draw with shape layer to form the pages and then we have this side as well so first we need to parent this side make sure the anchor point is at the corner here and then we parent this side to the cover on this side which is layer two here and then we parent this side to the cover on the left hand side. Now these are parented so I can use the rotation property to open and close the book, right? And that's how we animate the book closing animation. Let's add some keyframes here. Let's set the keyframe over here. At the beginning, I want it to be closed. So at the beginning, I'll close this with an angle like this, go forward maybe 10 frames and then let's open the book like this let's add some overshoots so just make sure we go back over here make sure the value is going over we just add slight overshoot so that it's going over my final position here let me easy ease the keyframe go to the graph editor I'll go to the value graph, pull up the handle. That's good. So that's going to be our book open animation. Now let's add a null object here. I'll put it at the bottom of the book and I'll parent everything of the book except for these two layers that are, that's already having a parenting chain. So I'll select the first three layers, parent it to the null object. And then for the null object, I'll just animate the scale and rotation. This is going to be my final rotation. So at the beginning, I want it to be zero scale and then make it negative one round. So we have this book coming in like this. That's good. And then we'll add some an overshoot again over here. So this value is going to go over, maybe let's change it 110. And then this value is going to go over. So let's go easy, easy keyframe. Let's change the graph a bit more. Just basically dragging out the handle to give it more energy. So we have this animation here. That's cool. After we have the book open animation, we just need to draw a wave shape layer. So let me turn this one on. This is my shape layer with a simple shape here underneath this book. I have a gradient color applied here. And then let's go animate the path property. Let's search path here, add a keyframe. So at the beginning, when the book opens, at the beginning, I'll drag all these vertex points down so that the wave is disappearing at the beginning before the book opens. So this is completely behind. And now once the book open, I'll have this animation where I have this shape layer drawing on like this. Now I just need to add a wave warp effects here. Let's add in the wave warp and then let's change the width to a higher number change the angle here so it's going on a vertical direction and now you can see if i zoom in here let me change this one to 100 we have a wave going on on the side here and then i need to change the wave speed to negative five so that it's going outward instead of inward 
if I play the animation, this is going to be my animation here. That's looking pretty cool. I want to pin the starting position at the bottom edge. And then let me just duplicate this wave two times to form wave two and three. And then for wave two, we basically shrink the path over here. You see with this anchor point at the beginning, it would be similar with, with my first wave. I just need to drag this wave inward, make it smaller like that. And then for wave three, same thing. Just make sure we have this wave that's smaller and then change color so we have three different layers. Now, if I play the animation, this is what it looks like. That's pretty cool. And then we just need to add some wiggle effects on the book. Let's go to add an adjustment layer here. And then on the adjustment layer, let's add a transform effect. After we have a transform effect, we want to add some expression on the position property. Go to click on option and then hit on the position stopwatch here. We need a wiggle effect. And then over here, the first is going to be the frequency. So I want 10 wiggles per second. And then the second one is going to be the amount. So let's say if we want five here. So we have a wiggle animation that's going on. That's pretty good. And now we just need to add some extra secondary elements, which is going to be just circles. Let's go draw a circle, make it in white color, delete the stroke. Go inside the shape. We can change the size to a perfect circle, maybe 60 by 60. That's going to be our circle. And then let's go just animate the position property. Once the wave comes up, I'll make sure I put the anchor point to the center of the circle here. And then at the beginning over here, let me go to position at the beginning. I'll cut the layer here, go forward a couple frames, just change the position and then go to my convert vertex tool to change my path here to make it more curved so that I have the circle going up while the waving is going up. Now I just need to duplicate this one and then offset it, go to P for position, change the motion path here, maybe move it on this, the other side here, and then maybe duplicate it again. Now change the motion paths so that they are moving in a slightly different manner. Maybe this one is going this way here. And now we have these little dots coming up, almost like floating up. I just need to turn on the motion blur for these ones here and then turn on the motion blur from the composition. So when they're moving up, it's more blurred here. Now I just need to keep duplicating. Now we have this animation here. That's pretty cool. And then let's uh, pre-compose everything. After we pre-compose everything, we just need to first add a shadow. So let's duplicate the layer here. And then let's go to scale property, unlink the scale, change the Y scale to maybe negative 50. It's going to be flipped on the Y scale. And then let's go add a mask, go to Rectangle tool, add a mask here. And then let's increase the mask feather here like this. Also, we need to change the opacity, make it 30% or maybe 10%, 20%. And now let's add a deep glow effect here. So that is glowing like that. We also need a deep glow on the original animation. So let's add a deep glow here. And before we do the deep glow, let's add in a curves adjustment before the deep glow to make it overall darker first. Let's make it a little bit darker at first. And then let's go to deep glow, go to inputs, dial up the threshold here. 
tone down the exposure. Just adjust the setting to whatever settings you feel comfortable within the deep glow here. That's looking pretty cool. Now let's duplicate the original animation again and then let's delete the deep glow layers first. Let's go add a fine edges effect. And now we have the edges and then let's invert it. Now we have these colorful edges. So for the colorful edges, I'll go to select the mode and change it to overlay here. Now we're going to have some edges going on. That's really colorful like this. And maybe the original curves adjustment is too dark. So let me change my curves adjustments to make it brighter. That might look better. If we offset the layer that has a finding edges effect, then maybe just by one frame, we're going to have a different effects like this. Now let's put the find edges effect underneath my original animation and then let's offset it by one frame so we'll have an animation like this hmm. there you have it that's all i want to show you today that's it with this video hope you like it and learned a couple of tips and tricks for a next project don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to check out our project file shop for many amazing After Effects project files to improve your skills. If you're serious about improving your animation skills and become a professional, check out our Motion Insider membership at motioncircles.com to access our beginner animation courses trusted by 50,000 plus students worldwide. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.